What's going on guys? Welcome back to Plants vs Zombies 2. Today I'm going to be discussing the best plant from each world. And this is completely my opinion, so please don't hate on it. Okay. So, we've got plenty of worlds here. Uh it used to say we're coming soon, more worlds coming soon, but now that the game's finally done. Yeah, so <laughs> I think we can finalize the list of the best plants from each world now. Cuz no more worlds are coming to the game, which is sad. I wanted more, but yeah. This is ancient Egypt. The best one from this is Bloomerang. Okay, so I know that Bong Choy is pretty good, but I'll be honest, Bloomerang is simply better. Um uh, simply because of the fact in the later stages you get mints and all and even then like strike through ability is pretty amazing so i'd have to go with the bloomerang on this one even though grave buster is pretty helpful but then again those are situational plants bloomerang is pretty much an all rounder here now coming to the pirate seas okay there are this ch- uh, cherry bomb cherry bombs amazing this spike rock which is amazing but overall if i had to pick one which i'd say is the best would have to be the snapdragon it's amazing like how much i've used snapdragon i've pretty much cleared the entire game with the snapdragon till i got the fire pea shooter that's how amazing the snapdragon is He's the only reason I tried out the cold snap dragon and I I don't own the cold snap dragon just yet. I am not paying money on the game. I don't have money to pay. <laughs> But overall I'd say yes, snap dragon's amazing. Obviously give him a shot. I'm pretty sure most of you have already done that. Coming to the wild west, obviously the lightning greed. Now don't get me wrong. Obviously winter melon has higher damage and all and so does the regular melon pult it's just that for the cost i believe that the lightning greed is amazing simply because then there are those chickens and all those stuff coming around and the plant food effect of the lightning greed is pretty much comparable to that electric blueberry so Yeah, I'd have to go with the lightning read on this one. Lightning read is amazing. Now the frostbite caves. Okay. So we don't get many decent plants here. I'm sorry if I offended anyone with that statement, but I'd have to say chart guard is pretty amazing and chart guard is probably the best one here. Now arguably pepper pult is more helpful in frostbite caves but in all fairness his use is pretty limited overall um if say if i wanted to play in another world i want pick pepper pult over some other damage dealing plant because his warming up ability is pretty much useless in the other worlds whereas chart guard on the other hand is extremely helpful so yeah i'd say chart guard is the best one out of all of them in the frostbite caves so anyways moving on to lost city now lost city has some pretty amazing plants um gold leaf is pretty underrated i think it's called gold leaf cuz even i haven't used it much then there's aki and akee or whatever you prefer then the red stinger the stalia i think and the endurian i prefer endurian out of all of them simply because he's one of those plants it's basically peanut but better in my opinion cuz i can use it on, like in the front cuz obviously why won't you and second of all it can kill a lot of things with the amount of health he has like i'll be very honest um i think in the frostbite caves i'm not really sure um in the frostbite caves when you're fighting zombies uh basically if you 
play this one i'll just show you if you go to modern day and you start playing the zombie boss levels um level 34 i guess yeah if you play level 34 it basically cycles between neon mix tape frostbite caves uh lost city and i guess that's about it or probably dark ages i'm not sure i don't remember much but yeah out of them you get the endurian and i really realized how strong the endurian is in that don't take him for uh, granted he's the best defense plant there is in my opinion that is and not premium he's not premium you're not paying 100 gems like you're paying for the peanut so this that now coming to the far future okay far future is by far one of the best stages to get plants because pretty much all of them are amazing and though i do have some personal biases here almost everyone i love almost every single one of them it's that amazing far future and even the moa launcher is amazing like i cannot stress enough far future is probably my favorite and the best stage world there is in the game but if i'm picking the best it would have to be infinite infinite is just too amazing once basically place down a single infinite and then use the plant food effect and you're pretty much set with the defense i take it back um endurian is not the best it's probably infinite i forgot about him <laughs> so yeah i'm giving the crown to him i'm going to move on to dark ages i think this is where it starts getting difficult the game so anyways dark ages i personally have to go with the fume shroom or the sun shroom um sun shroom doesn't attack much so i'd have to go with the fume shroom Actually it's pretty difficult because I use sun shroom over the fume shroom but fume shroom is pretty underrated and the thing is I mean it's a very flexible plant fume shroom that is and to be fair many people just use primal sunflower so there's that so I'd be giving the crown of this world to fume shroom that's amazing I mean he's not mind blowing or anything but yeah out of them he's amazing and the jester zombie is pretty annoying so having something that counters him is amazing and the range on him is pretty decent as well moving on to neon mixtape tour okay this is where it starts getting a little bit tricky simply because i like the mechanic of spore shroom it's something unique something the game hasn't done in a while but i'd say time warp is the best plant there is and don't take it lightly um time warp could possibly be the best plant in the game itself that's how our power day is him or her i'm not sure that's how our power they are it's simply because you basically stop the zombies where they are you get like 8 seconds for you to do anything like that's how long it takes for them to sing their song so it's basically free 8 seconds and then after that sure the zombies are healed but they lose all their armor you can basically plan and i i just have to say that time warp is one of the best plants in the game so yeah the crown goes to time warp for this world and probably the game i'm not sure about that one cuz frankly pokra is pretty amazing in the game as well so yeah moving on to jurassic marsh it's pretty obvious it's primal potato mine no surprises there fast arming time fast recharge and again the radius is amazing and insta kills a lot of things even in like the battle zanina where most of your plants are weaker primal potato mine still takes down the stronger ones he's that amazing i mean enough said we're going to move on to the big wave beach i accidentally opened this i'm sorry review 
Okay, now over here, I'd have to say that the bowling bulb is the best one, even though I have personal bias towards Guacodile because I liked him and the concept of the plant. But leaving the personal bias aside, I'd have to say that the bowling bulbs are the best ones. So, yeah. And then the modern day, everyone's favorite, I'd say. Obviously, the dust clobber. I mean, let's be honest. Dust clobber is one of the strongest plants in the game. So, yeah, I don't know what else I can say about it. Even though design wise, I'd say that the Grim Rose is pretty cool, but yeah, dust clobber is the best in the modern day. So, I think this sums up like which plant you should go for see if you're like new to the game and you just have your keys and you don't know which world to open i'd say go to the lost city uh, not the lost city go to the far future every single plant in far future is amazing blower is amazing infinite is amazing laser bean is amazing citrons amazing uh, magnifying grass is situational but if you use one of those strategies where you just place down a lot of sunflowers and put the lightning, uh, sorry, the magnifying grass in the back, that's amazing as well. Then there's style turnip. Obviously, everyone uses them, so that's amazing. But yeah, I think this pretty much sums up the entire game or the best plants of the game, which are not premium. Anyways, I stopped correcting myself now. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys did enjoy, please do leave a like and subscribe, really helps me a lot. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Peace out.